Trump, the big news is that he lost this civil fraud case in New York. He's right. got to pay like $363 million plus $100 million interest, plus the E. Jean Carroll, 80 some million dollars. Dude is hurting. He's hurting. Um, and he's pissed. Like, this is the case that he truly didn't want to lose because it's like, yeah, your whole empire is built on lies. But what do you make of this? Like, what do you make of the civil fraud case? Is it going to break through the, to the MAGA base? Do you can you technically have enough money? Like, is he just like fine money wise to roll him through November? Uh, well, that's a good question because he claims that he is. There are ways to delay these sort of payments. And the stated Trump plan that a lot of Republicans have gone along with is delay everything, appeal everything, win the presidency, pardon yourself, and then boom, these go away somehow. Yes, uh, the plan is just to never. Life. I mean, Trump is is very good and has been. Like this should be an objective statement, even if you're for some reason like like a mega a mega guy who accidentally is watching this. Yeah, if you hi. love Trump, you have to admit that he's very good at not paying bills. Famously, he will he will yes. push the bills off. Uh, and the other part of this is that he's trying to get the Republican National Committee to declare him the, the presumptive nominee, which uh, they haven't done yet. Uh, they didn't do at their last meeting, but they could. At, at that point, he'll have the RNC paying for a lot of his legal bills again. I mean, he's had Ooh. his PAC paying for it. So Trump's own money is not; it might not might not ever go to much of this. Uh, that's that's been his his agenda really since he got into politics and he had legal problems is to get political operations to pay for him or use his power to make it go away. Right, right, or absolutely. to make a GoFundMe. Yes, indeed. I saw that GoFundMe, but that's that's semi official, right? It, it's not yeah. really oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, Elena Cardone organized this fundraiser. Uh, stand with Trump, fund the three hundred and fifty-five million dollar <laughs> unjust settlement. <laughs> Just so, ooh, thirteen thousand donations. They're so close. Uh, Kevin Walters, I'm sorry, Kev, put you on blast here. Anonymous gave ten thousand. Not wow. the anonymous, but someone anonymous. This is very sad. This is like. Like this is this would be funny, but like most GoFundMe's, it's either at well at this point there's a lot of Gazans trying to leave, yeah. um, and or P Americans trying to get medical care. It's actually still depressing. Um, but you're right that that is the long plan. The plan is just delay, delay, delay. The problem is every day there's interest. Now, I don't. I mean, given like that it's over five hundred million, and he could just still run out the clock. Like, what's another hundred mil? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, like they, they really have been just doing a terrible job defending him. I, I in theory, you'd think that they could just the, the problem has been, especially for since January 6th and Trump left office is is that law firms that might I mean, these are sort of un, unwinnable cases, but there are law firms who don't want to work with him anymore. He, he has so he's paying a lot to mediocre attorneys who I mean, if you, the parts of the trial I saw in New York, they were awful. Uh, and he's, he's fighting other stuff. The only lucky break he's getting is. Uh, trying to quash the Georgia case by making it about Fon Fonnie Willis. Yes. Uh, but the New York one, yeah, they've not had a good defense. It's really just let's hope this goes away and we can when we can we can delay it. When it comes to but when, Alina Hava's hot, Dave. Alina yeah. Hava's hot. I didn't. I'm not sure if you factored that into your legal analysis. Yeah, didn't she post? She posted her own <laughs> bikini photos, right? Oh, God. Not like maybe not plural. I saw one that she posted uh, oh, as like boy. a hate us because oh, they hate us sort of deal. No, no, but like for MAGA voters, they don't care. I and mean, I, I was just in South Carolina, and this came up. Ha well, Nikki Haley will bring it up, but she'll bring it up in this sort of have it all way where she will talk about how Trump is in legal peril and it's a problem for him electorally. But if you follow up and you say, well, do you agree that he's guilty of this? Do you agree, for example, he committed sexual assault? She, she will just kind of move on and say, I haven't paid attention to all the cases, but. Uh, and so she'll bring that up. The voters that show up for her, some of them think that Trump is uh, guilty of everything that he's accused of, or at least convicted of so far. And and some, even those who are voting for Haley, just say, ah, well, I don't I don't believe that stuff. I, 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 I think it's it's a lot. It's all a, a plot to get him. Yeah. Um, you yeah. know, Stephen Colbert this week had that like kind of fiery little meltdown. I mean, as part of the monologue, but he was just like, all these Trump trials are playing out in front of us. He's guilty of pretty much like he is guilty of everything we all know he's guilty we're just waiting for the gears of justice to turn in time to spare us from another trump presidency before the general and like i agree with him on that but i'm but also it doesn't matter i mean you've talked to a lot of trump voters who some of them would back away potentially if he were convicted he has been i think since we last spoke 
the E. Jean Carroll trial, now the civil fraud trial, we'll see on the January 6th stuff. But like, I don't even know if what Colbert is saying is going to bear out because like, even if all the cases were wrapped, he still might actually, you know, he still might win. He still, and he still could win. Uh, they're not that, com- I mean, really, they're, they're, five things that Trump is, is is in some sort of legal peril about, some sort of distraction. Uh, he has used them to, as always, just jujitsu his problems uh, so that they're the problems of his voters. They're coming after me because they hate you so much. He's got most of the Republican Party in agreement with that. And he's also, he's I, I, again, South Carolina, where it just was, he's barely campaigned there. He's going to come back this week twice, maybe not more than twice, maybe th- three times when he comes back on Saturday to declare victory. Um, yeah. And then well, I assume. Uh, but he, just going on TV in between appearances at, at, in courtrooms and taking a few questions has helped him blur, blur out any other Nikki Haley news uh, if it would help her. So, yeah, it, it's it's it is unpleasant for him probably in some ways to go through, but it's not affected his campaign. And it really is universal when I talked to beyond Nikki Haley voters, universal with Trump voters, uh, uh, universal people who were voting for Ron DeSantis, the DeSantis campaign, DeSantis himself was pretty honest about this at the end of his campaign saying the, the worst thing that happened to him was Trump getting indicted because every Republican voter just, they don't pay attention to the charges. They just think he is uniquely under, under attack. attack. Yeah. What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.